Good morning. It's rare that we ever come on this early in the morning because I literally just finished my national radio show and in the final segment of the show, news breaks as we're in commercial. We come back and discuss for only a couple of minutes the fact that Tom Brady is leaving the New England Patriots. This is an unbelievable story. Uh, There's been much discussion about it for some time. Brady, I'm going to read you the statement that he just posted on uh, for everybody out there to be able to see. Uh, Tom Brady on Instagram and on Twitter simultaneously. Tom Brady ending his legendary career with the New England Patriots. Uh, Blockbuster. No other way to describe it. Uh, Landing like a bombshell. Uh, Brady, after nine Super Bowls, is leaving the New England Patriots. He said this this morning. "Uh, I wanted to say thank you to all of the incredible fans and Patriots supporters. Massachusetts has been my home for 20 years. It has truly been the happiest two decades I could have envisioned in my life. And I have nothing but love and gratitude for my time in New England. This is Tom Brady's statement. The support has been overwhelming. I wish every player could experience it. My children were born and raised here and you always embrace this California kid as your own. I love your commitment and loyalty to your teams and winning for our city means more than you will ever know. I can't thank you enough for the support of our team, the packed training camps and sold out stadiums and mostly the victory parades. I have been so blessed to share them all with you all. I tried to represent us always in the best and most honorable way and I fought hard with my teammates to help bring victory and triumph even in the most dire situations. You open your heart to me and I open my heart to you and Pat's Nation uh, will always be a part of me. I don't know what my football future holds but it is time for me to open a new stage for my life and career. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and will always love you and what we have shared, a lifetime of fun memories. Tom Brady out in New England. Now, this is going to be amazing to watch now the scramble such that Brady has officially let it be known that he is going to leave New England. The contenders right now. The favorite, believe it or not, according to gambling markets, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay, what do they offer? They offer Mike Evans. They offer uh, a a Brashad Perryman. They offer a O.J. Howard at tight end. A decent collection of overall talent on the offensive side of the ball. They don't have Jameis Winston under contract at all. Also Chris Godwin. Bruce Arians is a quarterback guru over time. There has been a lot of, uh, of, of discussion about him wanting a veteran quarterback to replace Jameis 30-30 club Winston. So Tampa Bay right now is the favorite for Tom Brady. On top of that, as if that were not enough, L.A., the Chargers, the side chick of the L.A. sports marketplace, could it make sense for Tom Brady in a brand new SoFi Stadium to be the guy for the Chargers to rebrand themselves. Seems a little bit strange and you might have just heard me talking uh, with Petros Papadakis about this on my radio program. Seems a little bit strange that the Chargers would decide Phillip Rivers at 38 is too old for us. Now we're going to bring in the 42-year-old Tom Brady. That doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to me but there might be desperation in the LA sports marketplace to create a stir and have somebody who is the proverbial straw that stirs the drink. It seems unlikely that the Vegas Raiders would be in the mix because they just went and got Marcus Mariota. Now maybe, maybe the Raiders could be interested in making a move here and uh, deciding to trade Derek Carr and try to slide in uh, Tom Brady. Seems unlikely, but worth discussing. Indianapolis, to me, makes a lot of sense. Indianapolis already was looking at Phillip Rivers. Could it make sense for the Colts to make a run at Tom Brady 
instead of going and getting Phillip Rivers. That, to me, would be a viable option. Could Chicago decide to finally move on from Mitch Trubisky, pair Tom Brady with that talented defense? There are lots of different moving parts. That's all the Brady side. What in the world are the New England Patriots going to do? Right now, their starting quarterback would be Jarrett Stidham. Does it make the most sense possible to really roll out Jarrett Stidham? How cocky is Bill Belichick with the idea that that could make the most sense for them? Or are they going to be in this free agent marketplace as well? This is pretty crazy to follow in general. Could the New England Patriots like Teddy Bridgewater? Yes. Could the New England Patriots uh, potentially make a run crazily at Jameis Winston? Is Bill Belichick so confident that he could trade uh, Tom Brady for Jameis Winston? Andy Dalton is out there and is available. Is Bill Belichick so cocky that he believes he can continue to win the AFC East with Andy Dalton? I just, I, I, I mean, I this is a legitimate bombshell that just dropped early this morning in the universe. And I want to uh, dive through and see what the, uh, what the latest is uh, from all of these different storylines. But man, there are so many different parts. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the LA Chargers have good talent. Uh, I, I, Hunter Henry, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Austin Eckler, improved offensive line. Tom Brady just kicking the coronavirus right to the curb and taking over the overall number one marketplace. We haven't seen anything like this in a very long time. Uh, and uh, so we'll see. Reports are that the Bucks and the Chargers have both offered $30 million plus to Tom Brady in order to be their quarterback. Here's a big question as well. Big question that is hanging out there. Did the Titans know this was going to happen and decide to give $91 million to Ryan Tannehill knowing that Tom Brady was going to be on the market two days later? As a Titans fan, are you happy with Ryan Tannehill getting $91 million knowing that Tom Brady was going to be on the market two days later? I would think that would make the market for Ryan Tannehill less significant. It feels like the Titans may have, not surprisingly, somehow managed to bungle this. Although you would have to think that if anybody is going to know about the decisions that Brady is going to make, you would think that they would, uh, that Mike Vrabel would be the guy who would know exactly what Tom Brady was going to do and that maybe they really did believe that Ryan Tannehill was better. Uh, this is a blockbuster story. Like I said, uh, just finished off everything. Uh, what questions do you guys have about Brady uh, making the decision, again, if you're just hopping in with us, Brady making the decision to leave New England? Uh, all right. Uh, I uh, love all of you. I got to go get ready for the anonymous mailbag. Already did three hours of radio this morning, and uh, this is going to be an incredible story to follow. Tom Brady, again, the news, announcing he is leaving New England. So far as we know, the Chargers and the Bucks are big-time contenders here. And uh, the question remains, what in the world are the Patriots going to do at quarterback? So many interesting storylines. So many interesting storylines to follow. Woo! Thank you, Tom Brady, for giving us an incredible story to follow. Love all of you. Thanks for hanging. DBAP unless you need to SBAP. I'll be back on later in the day to talk about this as more of the Tom Brady story emerges. But wanted to go ahead and hop on here as soon as radio ended to discuss Tom Brady's tenure, legendary tenure, with the New England Patriots officially coming to a close after nine years. Love you. DBAP unless you need to SBAP. I'm Clay Travis. Tom Brady riding off into the sunset. Where does he end up? We'll be talking about it a lot everywhere, but certainly on OutKick as well. See you guys. Love y'all. Bye.